Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how you can get Disney Plus on a TV that doesn't have it. So this is my son's TV and he's moaning at me because he can't get Disney Plus even though he's got YouTube, Netflix, etc. It's really, really easy to do but you do need to buy a separate adapter. So he's got an iPhone, so this video is going to be showing you how to do it on an iPhone. Of course you will be able to do it on other Android phones as well but you would need a different adapter. So this is what we need to buy for an iPhone. If you come down here you will see that we need to buy ourselves a Lightning Digital AV adapter because the phone that he's going to be using has a lightning connector down here. If you have a modern Apple device, you might need to have a USB version of this adapter. So make sure you buy the correct adapter for your phone. So you can see we have Disney Plus waiting to go on this phone here. All we have to do is plug this into the bottom and then we're going to be plugging the HDMI cable, one into this side here and the other end into the TV. So make sure that you have an empty port on the TV and if you have a look here, I've got two. So I've got a spare one here and here. So I'm just going to plug it into one of them. Let's just choose number three. Make sure you remember which one you've plugged it into because we need to go to that particular source. So this is HDMI three. And now if we go over to our remote control, we just have to hit source which is this button here, yours might be called input, and we're going to go to where it says HDMI 3 and press enter. And that's it, you can now see that the phone is being mirrored. So this is Disney Plus, if I was to go to continue here, this is bed knobs and broomsticks, and it will automatically put the phone on its side. So there you go, and you're going to control the volume from your remote control here. Just going to put that on mute because of copyrights but uh, yeah there we go so it's really easy to do so he's going to be well happy with that now and that's it there so hopefully if you're having the same problem you'll be able to get it fixed with one of these adapters you can find them easily online or in your apple store thanks for watching